to be on the well, horse but ride this horse. okay this is my old horse i just recently sold him and bought a new horse for myself but he is the bomb that is my stallion and that is actually the horse that husbands ride and children ride and people that really don't know what they're doing but um he had to have surgery recently and it required him to have 30 days of grass so we had to keep walking the grass so he keeps trying to eat on the trail. Aww. So we need somebody that'll tell him, yeah, no, that's not okay. You kind of just have to. This is a, this saddle comes with a style that's called English that doesn't have this high pommel. But I always ride the newest horses that come from Iceland. I'm constantly importing and selling horses and I get um, about 20 a year. And so I have to ride all the ones that like don't know what stuff is here. And, and so I have the most secure saddle for me. This is what one of the other ones looks like. So Hi. A, Hi. A Can you see what his name is again? What? What's his name this again? This is Mistari. Mistari. It's a male, right? Yeah. Okay. They're both. This is a gal. I mean, that's a stallion. And, and he is. I've had him for some years. He is the most well-behaved creature on the planet. He is scared of nothing. The only thing that he's ever done wrong is, is that he, he wants to stop and eat now because he's figured out there's chocolate sauce on the ground everywhere. Oh, <laughs> so, that's funny. So, so um, I will rig him so he can't do a lot of that, but then it gets just a little pissy. Hi. A little, little grumpy because he likes his, likes Hi. his way. So, I love his So Mastari, Mastari is uh, 10 and Roar is 27. What? Yeah. Wow. Um, he is the, the strongest, most reliable, most Hi. amazing creature. He is just a, Hi. A, a real Hello. good example of the breed. So what do you know about horses in general? Or what do you know about Icelandics? Anything? Everything that you've told me is all I know. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to bore you completely with lots of details. I love I love it. And I... It's, it's I know. I love if, hearing if everything. If you get sick of me, just turn your ears off. No, no, no. So, so Icelandic horses were brought to the island by the Vikings. And of course, the Vikings wanted big, sturdy, safe creatures. But they also needed horses that wouldn't jump out of their boats. Because <laughs> they had those open, shallow boats, right? So over the years, they had bred these from ponies and every other animal that they conquered in all of Europe. And this was the result, this little guy. And they, they're they extremely sturdy. They have twice the bone density of regular horses. They have longer lives. They have uh, deeper blood vessels because of the climate there. So they heat up and cool down much, much more slowly than other breeds. Other breeds require being walked after you ride them to chill them down because their blood's so close to the surface. As it cools, it hits a hot muscle and causes contractions. So, so they, these guys are very easy to take care of. 
they're very, um, they, they've almost lost their flight instinct. They're raised in a herd. So they're raised with 700 other animals and their cousins and uncles and aunts and brothers and sisters and grandparents. And from the time they're born, they're told, don't eat that grass, that's mine. Don't stand so close to me. Don't, you know, come over here and drink the water out of this creek. And so they're never ever told to run from anything because they have no predator on the island. Oh. So for all these generations, they've not had a predator. And so they have somewhat lost their flight instinct. It isn't completely gone, but, but they're far more likely to stop and stare at something that scares them. So um, my That's new horse amazing. that I've only wow. had for two weeks, I rode him seven miles this morning along Lone Jack, recycling trucks, bicycles. I mean, every kind of thing that would bother a normal horse. And um, he was mostly worried about the manhole covers. Oh yeah. man, that's he funny. He doesn't get why there's round metal things on the ground. <laughs> yeah. And so you bought him two weeks ago? Yeah, he's in the he's out there. Um, yeah, this guy I was never ever gonna sell him. Never, oh ever, yeah. Ever. This is the most remarkable horse on the planet. But um, my husband is my accountant, and you're beautiful. Yeah, my husband is on you my are day. You're beautiful. And um. I had to buy back a very expensive horse recently. We had a, I, I import and sell horses and my contract's pretty ironclad. It's like you buy it from a video and it's yours unless you want to swap it with another horse I have. I've never done refunds. But um, after eight weeks of nothing but rave reviews about the horse, I got a 10, 10 paragraph text that my attorneys are going to be contacting you and this horse should be a pasture ornament and he's dangerous and I don't want him to be sold from my property because he's dangerous and so you have to buy him back. So I did that, but that kind of depleted my account so my husband was kind of grumpy so I sold my horse. Aww. But this is the guy out there, my new guy. He's standing right there with all the pretty hair. Oh, wow. I love his name. And his, oh my gosh, how old is he? Glacier. Oh my gosh, the white one! Oh my gosh! He had holes on both sides of his spine in the back and the front from where their saddle was rubbed in raw. Oh, how sad! So, so he had been running away with them, but most likely he was running from the city. Oh my gosh, he looks like a unicorn, this white one. Oh my gosh. So his name, how do you pronounce his name? It's Yokel. It's J O K U L L. Yokel. In Icelandic, it said Yokel. But you can see on this side, Hi. let me get in there. Hi. The, back, the back healed up so fast in two weeks. There's just a little tiny bit. Oh, oh yeah. thank goodness. Back. But right here on his neck, look at this, there's still no hair. Oh. This that's oh, yeah. definite abuse yeah. that's horrible so this side and this side and then both sides oh, here poor and guy. this side had a spot literally this big where the hair was just gone Aww. but it's and he had holes on both of his hip bones that is so sad so yeah and this is bloomy this is the most beautiful wow. guy on the planet hi bloomy. Hi, bloomy. So, oh, hi. are you following me so they're more like dogs <laughs> than horses they um are really attached to their people and they get mad if they don't get ridden and they'll turn their butts toward you and pout and they're just they're just entertaining. So what got you into Icelandic horses? That's a really good question. So my husband decided to retire the year we got married. I had no idea that was coming. <laughs> and I had Arab and I had read about this tree and I thought, oh, you know, when I go get another horse and look at those. Before. The white one, sorry, the white one right there. Yeah, what is his that's name? Churn. Churn. Churn means deep or pond. Oh my gosh, he's my favorite. Oh, he looks like a unicorn. My my daughters yes. would okay, go so crazy. I dressed her up as a unicorn for a, a, my hairdresser's daughter's birthday party. You're joking, no, right? I'll show you the pictures. You won't believe oh it. my gosh. So, when I when you told me I saw Nick horses, this is what I pictured: a white horse. So 
Hi. Hi. Wow. Oh my gosh. Babe. Got my helmet on. This one's. Hello. So, um, how many kids do you guys have? Three girls. We bought Hi. a horse for him. Went and got a nice land. We drove up there and <laughs> we drove to the place. I, I went to the store and bought a Horse Illustrated magazine. And I called him and said I wanted to buy one. I would come and look. What magazine did you say? It was a horse. It was called Horse Illustrated. Oh. <laughs> You ready? Are you getting nervous? No. Nervous. Horse Illustrated. So take that to him. And I'll stand here so he doesn't walk away. Do you, um. There you go. So now when you come up, yep, put your left foot in that stirrup. Do you do riding lessons for kids? I do. Yeah. Good job, babe. I do. I haven't been able to teach because of COVID, obviously. You guys were my first college in a long time. Oh, really? So Thank you, you so can, much. You take your leg out and let it hang. That's the right length for you. So just yeah. this part of your foot goes in. Just okay. the ball of your foot. So you keep your heel below the rest of it. So your heel should come down. Okay. Okay, now we ride with rain contact. So that means there's a straight line from your elbow to his mouth. Okay. And don't straighten your arms. Let your arms, yeah, be relaxed and bent. There you go. So as soon as you put pressure on his mouth, he backed up. Got it. Okay. So when he wants to walk around, you're going to have to guide him. Mm -hmm. And I want you to ride with your eyes and your belly button. Okay. So we're going to turn right. So you're going to look to the right and you're going to bring your right arm back. Yep. Okay. And you want to always look where you're going. So come over here. And now we're going to make a circle to the left. Hi, puppy. Wow. And so now you just got the lesson. Yeah, I was paying attention. Okay, so say hello. Okay, could you stand here and hold him while I go get the other horse? Just, just put your hand on the rein, just because sometimes Hi. he likes to follow me back. Hi. Hi, no. It's okay. You excited? That's fine. You feel comfortable? Sure. Man, I'm getting nervous. It's so big. Big horsies. Okay, I'm gonna be holding okay. up a lot of them. Yeah, you're not gonna no, you be, won't. you're not gonna be going too fast. So put your left foot in there and go. Yep, go. Yeah. Okay, and then keep your reins up. So guys, never get on horse without reins because that's how you control. Okay, now for the other person. Okay, so shorten them so that you have your hands low, but you have the reins straight from your elbow to their mouth. One in each hand. Hello. And in the bottom and out the top. I'm going to be holding okay. up a lot of them. Yeah, you're not going to no, you be, won't. You're not going to be going too fast. So put your left foot in there and go. Yep, go. 
Guys, never get on horse without reins because that's how you control. Okay, now for the move. Okay, so shorten them so that you have your hands low, but you have the reins straight from your elbow to their mouth. Yep, I'm sorry. It's okay, you're good. Which way should I go? Straight to the right? Just, just yeah. Are you having fun, babe? I guess so. Happy anniversary! <laughs> I feel so much more relaxed now that it's the end. <laughs> I can't wait to do it again. Slow him down, you're gonna run over me. Ooh. Whoa. Such a beautiful neighborhood. I love your neighborhood. Thank you. We do too. Hop. Kick him, kick him, let's go, yeah. Come on, let's go. There you go. Woo. Did you have fun, babe? Oh, great time. It was fun. Did you, would you want to do it again? Of course. It was great. Yay. So, um, Mystique? Actually, you said Mystique? Mistari. 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 What's your name? Roar. Roar. His name is Proar. Proar. Roar. 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 Yeah. Bye-bye, puppy. Bye-bye, puppy. He's like, he was with us the whole time. He's, I'm so yeah. impressed by your oh, dog. Yeah, no, the dog's amazing. He's the best dog ever. What's his name again? Bossy. It's B -A -S -S -I, and then he's a little bear. Bossy. Is he from Iceland? He's not. He's a good friend in Orange County. And never thought she could own a horse. And her mother-in-law died. And she was a crazy cat lady in a trailer with 13 cats. And she had a half a million dollars in the bank. So my friend got a horse, yeah. Wow. She's so over the moon. I mean, they're both professionals. She's a professor and her husband's an architect. But they've been on the, the mad saving to retire plan and they just didn't ever budget for a horse. So. I'm sorry, I'm not helping you. I want to film everything. Yeah, I can help fine. you. Tell me what to do. I'll help you. No, no, you're fine. You're hungry. Sure. Look at how hungry he is. Churn is the princess. You might notice she has the fancy. Oh, it's a girl. Yes. Churn, okay. And, and she also has something called a slow feeder. Because she eats so fast, she stands around and pouts because everybody else has food and she doesn't. Oh, so, so you she have to feed her the last? Feeder while she eats out of this barrel. See, it has these holes in it. That's so smart. Did and you think has, of that yourself? No, she has to spin it to eat. And then she also has a vending machine. <laughs> over there and um the that little red red uh, yeah. bag i put hay in that too that's so smart oh you're my favorite so are you boarding her here for a long time what? are you gonna board her here for a long time yes. how much did you say she's she sold for she has 18 000. Most of, in America, no, actually this one's with that guy. He can put it in his bin. See that here, see that black bin? Yep. In the middle holes where the hay goes. So in, um, in America, we have like 15 words for colors of horse. We have chestnut and pinto and dun and sorrel and piebald and that's kind of it besides black and brown and red and white, right? Yeah. yeah. But in Iceland, they have 57 words Hi. for colors of the horse. Are you hungry? Because they come in so many unique colors. So this mare out here, she's the oldest one I have. She's 28. Mm -hmm. This is so cool. <laughs> Isn't this awesome? See them, them from the smart. air. They started putting it under the mane, but then they realized they they can't they see it. Red, 
sun, the main goes up, but it's not enough for them to really see it from the air. So now they could use drones and like, yeah, go look at all of them. Uh, so now they just microchip. They don't freeze mark anymore. It's rare to have one that's freeze marked. So she's 23. She are 28. She has a freeze mark. This is the baby, the new one I showed you the picture of in the flowers. He's my new boy. Oh, his name is Yoko. Poor hey. thing. I feel so bad Hi. for him. I got him. Yeah. I got him because they were mean to him. Where, where, where was he at again? They're in Las Vegas. Oh. And how do you determine where the horses go? Like, is there, you want to keep them separate, certain ones separate or? Oh, well, actually, uh, once a week, we turn everybody out in that big arena and oh. chase them around, let them all run and be together and play. Except for the stallion. The stallion goes out with all the boys. And then we put him away and we put the girls out with the boys and they all run. But there's, yeah, cause he would wanna, he have would fun, wanna, have yeah. Fun. Yeah, he would wanna <laughs> make whoopee with those girls. So do you breed them? No, but you okay. see how old he is. This is, they start turning gray just like people. Aww. He's turning gray. How old is he again? He's 26. 26, yeah. Did you like, did you feel comfortable when you were riding? You, you look really good up there, Moses. I couldn't see, you are behind me the whole time. It's totally second nature to him. He is way more relaxed than you. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. So I was really tense. I put you guys on the right horses because he actually he never does anything wrong. Except that eating thing is annoying. Was that yummy? And you kind of have to be okay. Was that yummy? You, know? you still got more food. And, oh yeah, he'd rather have people than food. Aww. Was he the one that you said had the tick on him? 